The three constants of life are death, taxes, and if you want to actually contribute to society, employment. Unfortunately, there are some out there who abuse being an employer as a concept. It doesn't matter if you're the CEO of Starbucks or a Joe Schmo running the local vacuum store, there's always the bad apples. That's why I'm here to say, normalize dunking on shitty employers. Now when I say that, I don't mean making an ass of yourself live on Fox News. That's exactly what your boss wakes up in the morning to tune into his Sirius XM radio for. What I am saying is do the TikTok thing. See something, say something. We're all on employer watch, myself included. And hell, you don't even have to go public or specific. Just turn on your phone and share your story. We've all been there. So here's what I have to say about a place I was at a long time ago. And for legal reasons, this is all fiction and any resemblances to real people is a coincidence. Uh, hello? Hi, Level. Can you come in yesterday? We're 20 people short, clocked in and locked in, and I am graciously given the Fisher-Price baby's first toolkit. Two weeks later, the ship breaks like some Legos. The next day, I get a text asking if I could do all this shit before we open. So this is the NDA, and this is the non-compete clause, and this- Bitch, I work at McDonald's. Here in our community, we strive to make sure we keep up a great image for all our prospective onlookers. Bitch, I pack boxes at Amazon. We never have enough shit to get the job done, and I'm pretty sure there's five or so building violations I could sniff out if I were Saul Goodman. But hey, that's just my opinion. A game opinion. Ooh, you suck! It's always the best places that make you do shit you're completely unqualified for. But why do the customers need to know that? I'm a great heart surgeon. Who says work has to be boring? You get to play Jenga trying to scramble to get all your shit to your point on time. You get to play Tetris packing all your shit in speedrun pace. There's never a dull moment at this company. I have an announcement to make. My job has withheld my paint stubs for months since they went all digital. Hooray! <laughs> health insurance? No problem. We at this company will make sure you're paid just enough to not qualify for the government stuff. Work insurance? What do I look like? The money tree? I'm too busy landlording three high rises. Pick up those damn bootstraps. We're a family here. Make sure you're ready to witness ungodly elder tours beyond your comprehension and don't tell your friends. Because remember, you signed the paper. Yeah, yeah, tell my lawyer to move the OSHA lawsuit up the next Tuesday. Come on, I need to see my daughter's dance recital. Have a heart, man. You know, buddy, anybody can say anything on the internet. You can't trust Yelp. Or Google. Or Open Door. Or, yes, Level, we know the customer stated they wanted a double-triple bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. What the hell are we paying you for, maggot? In conclusion, I feel like business owners are taking way, way, way too many cues from Amazon. Revolving door, shitty building, cut corners, or hey, maybe that's just business. What do I know? If you like this video, make sure to let me know down below. Bye-bye.